Should you buy Modern Warfare 2? That is the question. It is one of the most hyped games coming out later this year. And I'm going to give you the most honest, non-biased, non-sponsored review of this game. Good morning, gentlemen and ladies, RSX Squishy here. And for today's video, I'm going over why you should or shouldn't buy the new Modern Warfare 2. Now, if you can, leave a like, comment, subscribe. It'll really help me out. And I'm trying to get to 4,568 subs. Um, so let's get started with the video. Now, uh, the beta came out recently, and I'm going to give you guys on it just be straight up. First of all, do not trust any Activision-sponsored um, Call of Duty content creators. So... Usually you can spot them when you have when they have uh, quite a few hundred thousand subs. They uh, usually have a, you know, Call of Duty content creator code or something. And the reason why or also anybody that usually gets invited to the freaking games to check out uh, or for the early access, you know what I mean? Like freaking Nadia, Nick Merckx. I wouldn't really trust anybody like that. Nick Merckx actually is a little bit more honest, but people like swag, you know what I mean? Just because the reason why is because they never tell you really what's wrong with the game They always downplay issues with the actual game. You know what I mean? They're not completely honest um, So for example, there's been a lot of issues during the beta that were uh, Pretty much brought forth by everybody the, the footstep audio the mini map uh, The sliding was just fucking trash. There's all this stupid ass shit. The UI was horrible um, and a lot of the content creators never really touched on it. So while some of them did, most of them didn't. And the reason why they don't is because they always want to stay under the good graces of Daddy Activision. So the next year, they'll invite him out again so they can get um, early content and get views for their channels and make money off their subscribers. But um, I will never do that. I will always be honest and very upfront when I don't like something. Um, I am a Call of Duty uh, player. I've been playing over... 10 years, I have a freaking clip from 2011, I think, of me uh, on Modern Warfare 2 doing 360 quick scope. So I know what I'm talking about as far as all the games. But um, to get back to the topic, the game is not going to be ready when it comes out. So my honest opinion on whether you should get the game or not, I would say to hold off. Now, why would I say to hold off? If you look back, or I don't know if you guys bought these games, but if you look back at Modern Warfare 2019, that game came out completely completely incomplete same thing with black ops cold war that was fucking had like one map when that shit came out that game was fucking horrible boring as fuck shitty graphics i played that shit for about maybe like a month and a half and then i just fucking quit and went back to modern warfare 2019 then fucking vanguard which is probably the worst call of duty in history to ever come out Again, same thing, completely incomplete. They kept bragging about, oh, we're going to have fucking 20 new maps, blah, 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 blah. But all the maps were shit. The guns were shit. The graphics were shit. There was like 200,000 bugs uh, throughout the whole game. A lot of them never even got fixed, even to this day. So just to kind of give you a heads up on fucking Modern Warfare 2 coming out, they released a beta, uh, what, maybe like two weeks ago or something like that. And then you got the actual game releasing a month after, which is now, what, two, three weeks away. And guess what? They're not going to be able to fix everything. They've been bragging about, oh, we got 3,000 developers for this a game. And we've been working on it for the last three years, gathering data, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. They haven't been doing any of that shit. They mentioned that last time during some fucking press conference shit for Call of Duty. But guess what? You play the beta. How is it that you can't even get fucking footstep audio right? You know what I mean? And then on, like the second week, they address it. Oh, we fixed footstep audio. It's like that should never have been an issue in the first place. What the fuck? It's not like you have fucking 10 years of Call of Duties to get your info from. How incompetent are these fucking assholes? They've been working on the game for three years. They were on fucking COVID leave two of those years or what? Holy shit, man. The fucking common sense that fucking lacks from these fucking people. They're fucking stupid. They fucking, they messed up the perk system for everything. Um, they messed up the user inter... You can't even scroll down, pick a freaking gun the correct way because the user interface is horrible. Apparently, they hired the guy that designed the interface for Hulu to design the interface for freaking Call of Duty and everyone was complaining about it. But none of the top, you know, the more popular uh, Call of Duty streamers or, or uh, content creators are going to ever tell you that because... Again, they want to be uh, positive about the game and they want you to buy it and use their fucking creator code or whatever. So 
Um, I would suggest hold off on the game, maybe like a month or two, wait until the bugs go down. Um, watch some of the reviews when the game comes out. Usually they'll be out. There's going to be a bunch of reviews the day of, the next day, you know what I mean? And again, you can always count on me for an honest review. If the game is actually good, I will give an honest review. I'm not or like an actual positive review, but again, the game looks like it's just going to be complete shit, to be honest. So my recommendation is to wait a little bit um, and just see how everything plays out. Um, again, I wouldn't get the game right away. Um, whether you're a casual player or a more experienced player, I do want to touch on that. This game is not going to be anything near um, what the original Modern Warfare 2 was back in, what, the early 2000s, 2009, 2010, whenever it came out. Um, when that game came out, that game had so much innovation. You had customizable kill streaks. You had AC-130. You had really good audio, you know, really good guns, a freaking, I don't know, all these cool perks and everything. And now with this game, you have a fucked up perk system. So... Everything is kind of like messed up. Not really any new innovation. You know what I mean? If anything, the games have gotten worse. Um, if you're a new player, I would suggest maybe getting tw Modern Warfare 2019 or even Black Ops Cold War because um, it actually got a lot of content ever since then, but um, or ever since, since it came out. But um, I wouldn't suggest getting Modern Warfare 2 right when it comes out. Again, stay uh, watch some of the reviews. Don't watch any of the sponsor reviews. Don't support anybody that is an Activision shill, in my opinion. Um, but that's what I have to say so far. Um, game's not going to be ready, and I will probably make a video uh, a month after the release, um, kind of going over this review just to see how accurate I was. And I've been accurate the last, for some reason, the last like four or five commentaries on, um, you know, games coming out. On I usually do a review on the day of, whether they suck or whether they're good, and I've been accurate on every single one so far. So um, I feel like you guys can uh, actually trust me on this. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get the game anyway, just cause I want to make content for you guys. But, um, yeah. And then I also wanted to touch on saying that Activision knows that this game is going to be really popular. It had like the most beta downloads of any Call of Duty game in history. So, you know, they're going to try to capitalize on the money and everything. So expect a bunch of freaking skins and the store to always be working, but everything else to be a complete mess. Um, if you're a hardcore fan or um, an experienced Call of Duty player, just know that the game is being catered to new players. So you're going to see a lot of newbie stuff like heartbeat sensors and riot shields most likely and stuff like that that's going to piss you off. So just wanted to touch on that because um, for me, for example, as a very experienced Call of Duty player, it's one of the things that bugs me the most is that how much emphasis they place towards the new players. Um, for, for example, the removal of side canceling. You can't even side cancel around the corner now. Um, the footsteps, taking away dead silence, taking away the red dots on the minimap. That's all done to cater to newer players because they want the new players to have their save space and everything. So it's just completely stupid in my opinion because the more experienced players are the ones that play it the longest. So um, that's just kind of my point of view so again if you can leave a like comment subscribe and thanks for watching